Hey everyone, I'm back with some projects to share with you all today. Um, I have a few more ambassador projects for you to share with you all. I was playing with the new stamps from the monthly club kit. So these are the new stamps. Um, let me just put this, I hope you can see, wait, hold on one second. All right, that's better, right? So I use this pumpkin here and I haven't done this one yet. This will probably be for my recipe book. I'm thinking, we'll see. I have another idea, so I'm kind of toying around with it. And then I used um, this stamp set. This is the add-on from the monthly club kit from Adorn It. Um, and you can find, as always, you can find the link in the description box if you're interested in purchasing. Um, now, this stamp here, um, I did a little stamp surgery. Okay, so if you're not comfortable with this, don't do it. Um, but I actually separated this pumpkin out from the word harvest. That's why you don't see the ink um, on this part of the stamp. Now, you can always not ink this up, but um, sometimes the images are so close together that um, you may get that. So I um, decided to cut mine away. When you do that, you don't trim out um, the edges once you've cut it away. Do not do that. That way you can fit it all back together in place of where it was before. So if you cut yours apart like I did, don't trim the edges once you cut it apart, okay? Just leave it as it is so that you can fit them like a jigsaw puzzle back together if you ever want to use it as the original um, illustration has. So I'll just preface it by saying that. Okay, and then I use this one here for my projects. I have um, quite the collection of Diana Markham's red rubber stamps, so I used one of my vintage stamps for it. And it's right here. Okay? I have no idea of knowing if they're re releasing that one or not, but it is showing up in the paper, so maybe that is to come. Who knows? Um, but I did use one of those because I wanted to. And I used the paper from the add-on as well and their um, India ink and their watercolor pencils. These are the colors that I used. They don't have their colors numbered at all or named. So I numbered my pencils so that I, um, because I keep them in a box um, that has the swatch on it. And this is a Stampin' Up container. So these are the swatches for all the pencil colors. And then I numbered the pencils with a Sharpie at the end so I would know what color it is, okay? That's all I did with that. You could see my card there. Okay, so here's the watercolor paper that I use. Oops, let me knock my, not knock my uh, um, coffee over, which is in a container, but um, Canson Watercolor, 30-page um, book. It's cold press. Um, I probably should have used my hot press for this, but that's not what I did. Okay, um, inks. I have used this Distress Oxide, this paper tray ink, Ripe avocado, did I use this? I'm not sure now. And there's also this VersaFine. I think um, this one is uh, also water resistant, just like the India ink, um, but it doesn't stain your stamps either. I, I use this because um, I stamped a sentiment and I'm used to using that for my sentiments. I also used both these color twines. Yes. Um, these are both from Walmart. So that's where I purchased them from. Um, and then these, also these stamps and dies. Okay, so this stamp from Paper Tray Ink, um, it's called Spooktacular Halloween Kit. Oh, this was in a kit. Okay, so this was part of a kit that um, they released last year. And I used the Hay Pumpkin. This is an oldie but goodie. It has a Celebrate Autumn. It was the right size for what I wanted. Um, this is from 2010, so that's quite old. Um, this IO stamps, this is one of Anna White's dies. Um, this tag here, it's a square eyelet tag die. And this will cut apart the center piece, so I have done that. Um, this tag set from Sunny Studio, this is a different size than the paper tray one, so that's why I have both of them. <laughs> I'm obsessed like that. Scallop tag square. 
So that's from Sunny Studio. This is from the Greetery. These are the crimped rectangle dies. I used the largest one in the set. And then this is a um, Gina Marie Designs, and I don't know, this is like a cross stitch one. It's got stitching all the way around. And I used one of the squares, and I think it's the one, two, three, four, five, the fifth one from the inside. So those are the dies that I used besides the paper. I think that's it, right? So um, let me first show you my card. So here he is. Um, oh, I also use some Dollar Tree um, lace and a button from my stash. So as you, you guys can see, I watercolored this one, um, or actually everything is watercolored. Um, kind of wanted to try that out again. And um, because the paper is like a cream color, I went ahead and edged, inked the edges with my um, Distress ink. Uh, actually, it's the Oxide ink, so um, it gives you a nice soft look. And I also um, ink the edges of the paper too. So I thought this turned out cute. The reason I had to cut that pumpkin away is because I, I, I would have had to um, have the sentiment higher. So rather than do that, I cut out the pumpkin because his hat fits in there just so nicely. So um, I think he turned out cute. This is, again, this is a vintage stamp from Diana Markham in red rubber. And this is from the new um, kit that, she, uh, not monthly, uh, subscription that, um, if you are a part of, you will get this as the add-on stamp. If you are part of the add-on, if you purchase the add-on. So this was the, for the month of, wait, we're in September now. So I think August was, um, that month's release because it's part of the pumpkin bars. So that's the um, vintage one. I have another one somewhere around here. Um, oh yeah, I showed it to you. Here it is. So the pumpkin bars was for August, even though we're in September now. Um, but you know, we're starting to hopefully cool down a little bit. I did see some yellow leaves the other day. I was so excited. I was like, it needs to just break because it's too hot. Um, and just a key uh, or a tip here. Um, if you use watercolor paper, it tends to buckle. So um, use glue for your layered um, cards because it will help you keep that buckling down to a minimum. This, this paper before I glued it down was um, buckled, not a lot, but um, enough for it to um, aggravate me so it didn't look right on the card. So I used um, some tape runner first and then some glue all over because the glue helps keep it flat. And um, the, the tape runner really is more for a, the temporary hold until the glue dries. So you can see this is part of the designer paper that um, Adornit also has. So if you were adding, on, adding this on to your um, monthly subscription, you would get this paper as well. Um, and I believe they have this a la carte too, if you're interested in purchasing that. The paper this, um, for this was release was very nice. I, I like the colors that they used. Well, it is autumn, so, and fall is one of my favorite um, seasons. Um, so, yes, there's my card. And it is not stamped inside. Um, I don't know who I'll be sending this out to, but I thought it would be cute to have that little button from my stash, um, some twine, and then some lace here at the edge. And that lace is from Dollar Tree. So that's my card. Um, and then I have some tags to share. So I've got two tags that are very similar because they're pumpkins. Well, they're all pumpkins, but they use the same design paper um, and the same die set. So I've got two different size um, squares cut from that Gina Marie Designs die. Uh, and then I use the same die from Sunny Studios to cut these tags. And then I, there's the twine and I added buttons from my stash. I rated my button stash. I like this one because it's got a little flower and some little details in it. So this one says, Hey Pumpkin, and this one says, Celebrate Autumn. There's the um, olive green ink, the av avocado, ripe avocado is what it's called. So again, these are watercolored using the pencils. And I use watercolor brushes um, because I don't feel like I get good control with a watercolor brush, or, I'm sorry, the the um, 
the brushes that you put water in because a lot of times that water will escape from the from the brush and drop onto your project when you don't want it to. So I, I don't like to use them for that reason. So I use um, regular paint brushes and you can buy some cheap ones, you know, at the art store or even at Michael's or whatever, big box store. So I used a four, a zero, a four and a two because these images are pretty small. And so you get some tight spaces in there um, to blend some colors in and make it look all nice and fall like. I didn't do any ink blending on these um, simply because I like the way they looked as well. I almost didn't do it for the card, but. So there's two tags right here. And then I have a third one that uses that dye from Impression Obsession from Anna. So this is that dye. I actually um, cut it two times. I cut the image and then I also cut it again in the designer paper you can see back here. Um, so I layered that in here as the um, as one layer here, and then it is um, backed up with a with the actual a second cut that is part of the watercolor paper. So you can see it back here um, without the holes popped out. So you can kind of see that we've got the cream colored peeking through, and then I backed it again with that extra die cut piece so that it's nice and strong. Um, and then here's my button. It's like one of those little stitch stitch buttons. I like that detail because it, it kind of continues the detail from the die that Anna put in there. So um, two different uh, color pumpkins. And again, it's watercolored using the same sentiment from Paper Tray. So yeah, these are some of the uh, really fun images for fall that Diana um, has uh, released for us um, and I really enjoyed doing some crafting with them as well as um, some of her older stamps. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!